Your ePortfolio gives you the option of building an online resume. You find it under Profile. If you click on My Resume, this comes in many parts and you need to save each part as you go. The first part is a cover letter where you might introduce uh, the resume for specific purposes. Then you can list your interests, contact information, personal information and employment education history, range of certificates, any books and publications you've been involved in, professional memberships and so on. The way this is organised is you choose to display whatever you would like here and then later you decide what other people can view. In the employment history part, you might choose to list a range of jobs you have been involved in. To do so, you click Add, put in the date, the employer, job title and a short description. As you save each one, you can build up a list of jobs that you've been at. Likewise for education history and so on. Just click, click keep adding. Once you've completed that, remembering to save, you can move on to your goals. Your goals can be personal, academic and career and these are often of interest to potential employers. There's a skills section which once again comes in three parts personal skills, academic skills, work skills. Don't forget to save each one. Once you've done that you need to move to your portfolio and views. You need to create a view so that people can see your resume. At the moment it's just information that you have stored only visible to yourself. In this one here I've created a resume view already which is simply a full resume list as I enter the information. The more I put in the longer this grows. If I edit this view and click on the Resume tab, then you'll notice that you can either display your entire resume, which is what I've done here, but for this example I will delete this and I'll reconstruct it, but this time one field at a time. So I drag this below the block and choose which aspects I would like. So this particular one I might start off with displaying my academic goals I would select that part to show and save. So my academic goals are now listed. At the moment I've got a layout of one box across the page if I change my layout to three boxes, so I've now got three columns wide, and I'll choose these to be equal width. I can now drag into the middle column and put a different part of my resume. So for this particular part, I uh, will put in my certification, accreditation and awards. And so on, adding each bit, clicking on done when I finished and then I can view my new resume.